For each weekend's Ableton session, I set the keys of the songs to Mannheim setlist. So if you're doing a song in a different key than Mannheim, you will need to transpose it in Ableton. To do this, you will need to change the clip properties for the clips that contain harmonic or melodic audio information. So you wouldn't need to do this for the click tracks themselves or for the drum loops. So for instance, let's say that you're doing Always Will in the key of C, and here in Mannheim you can see that they're doing it in the key of B. So one of the things I do is I label the song with the key. So Always Will is in B, This Is Amazing Grace is in G, and if I go over here to Arrangement View, if, if you're using Arrangement View, um, you can see that I have the keys as well. Okay, so back here in Session View, I need to find the clips that contain melodic or harmonic information and transpose them. So here's the click down, don't need to change that. The other click, no, count off, no. Tambourine, no. Okay, here's pad. Okay, I need to change this one. So I click on the clip, go down here to clip view, and first thing I want to do is make sure that warp is selected and that this is highlighted yellow. Okay, going over here to transpose. Okay, so it's set to minus three, and so that's semitones. So what this is telling me is that Ableton now is playing this click, or this clip, sorry, at minus three semitones to get to the key of B. So if I do a little math, I can figure out that, well, if it was, if this was at zero, then it would play back in the key of D. And that would be the original key that I bounced that loop as, or I recorded that loop as. Okay, so, but I want to get to the key of C. So what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to transpose from B to C, so that would be plus one semitones. So I would take it from minus three to minus two. Okay, so I can I can do that by moving, by grabbing that dial and clicking and dragging that up and down. Or I can use my mouse and click on that semitone area and just type in the value that I want it to be. Remember that when changing keys, clips in the song need to be transposed relative to each other and not necessarily to an absolute value. Usually when the loops are bounced or recorded, they are all in the same key, which makes keys changing easy since they would all be changed to the same end transpose value in your clip view. The problem would occur is if for some reason the loops were bounced or recorded in different keys to begin with. So you look at always will here, and let's say I look at pads, and we see that it's minus three. And let's just say that I clicked on ambient high, and that the transpose value said like minus two or minus one, and synth guitar here was at maybe plus one. I wouldn't want to go in and, and just change one and say, okay, okay, I need to add one, so this is minus three. So I go to minus two, you know, and then without thinking about it, change every other one to minus two, you know, you're, you're going to mess everything up and then you're going to be wondering, oh, what were they, you know, what were they set to before I went and changed them? So it's good to just take each clip and individually um, change the value according to how many semitones you need to add. So let's just say pads was minus three. So I would make it minus two, I'd add one. And let's just say that, you know, I, I looked at ambient high and it was at zero and I need to add one, I would make it plus one and then so on and so forth.